Welcome to part one of the ASC C1 Service Advisor Test Highlights video. During this series, we will be exploring the subjects covered during the ASC testing process for C1. Today, we will be looking at communication skills involving phone conversations, in-person communications, and electronic or contactless information exchanges. The first thing to remember when communicating with your customer is that you have many customers. They have one service advisor. When you are communicating with your customers, be sure you are focused on that customer for the encounter. To that end, do not multitask. Have their information ready to discuss with them and available for your reference. If you need to take an extra moment to re-familiarize yourself with their particulars, take it. When conducting a telephone exchange, always announce yourself by name and your place of business. Whenever possible, address them by their name. Also, be sure your environment is conducive to a call. An air ratchet in the background is not an effective place for your customer to hear what you are saying. Next, have their info close at hand. Speak clearly and into the phone. Do not have side conversations with others while conversing with your customer. This is their time. If you must get other information, use hold. Be sure to tell the customer you are leaving them and for how long. When meeting a customer in person, address them by name. Introduce yourself by name also. If your place of business uses titles like Mr. or Mrs., etc., be sure to follow those. If you have a business card, use it here. This gives them a solid understanding of how to contact you. Eye contact and positive facial expressions go a long ways towards bridging the communication gap. Again, having their information and vehicle knowledge is essential. Be sure to ask if they have questions and take the time to answer these. Loud environments with interruptions are never good places for a face-to-face -face encounter. Do what you can to control the environment you use to meet with your customers. Electronic or contactless communications are the trickiest of all. First and foremost, identify yourself and your business. These communication options show no emotion and can be very black and white. Some find these methods sterile and impersonal. Before using them, confirm that the customer prefers these methods. Watch out for autocorrect. This can be a very embarrassing situation once you push send. Read, read, and reread before you hit send. Again, I caution you about this method of communication. It can be very efficient and time-saving for customers who are desirable of this method. Once again, it boils down to knowing your customer and meeting their desired expectations. Join us next time when we dig even further into communication skills specific to your daily routines. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in part two.